On today's podcast, we are welcoming Carolyn Johnson, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Diversity Inc. Media. Now, if you haven't heard of Diversity Inc. and you are a working professional in a Fortune 200 company, I guarantee you your company either knows of or is a client of Diversity Inc. For the last 20 years, Diversity Inc. has been the gold standard of measurement for effective diversity and inclusion. Through its benchmarking and consulting services, the company advises leaders of Fortune 200 companies about important issues related to diversity and inclusion and how those issues are directly tied to profitability and competitiveness. Carolyn herself has an amazing resume. Prior to becoming Diversity Inc. CEO, in her 17 years with the company, she's also been the Chief Operating Officer and the Chief Revenue Officer. Carolyn also has been the Director of the Diversity Inc. Foundation, a nonprofit that funds scholarships to financially disadvantaged students. On top of that, she's also on the board of directors for Inroads, an organization that aims to fix the lack of racial and ethnic diversity in corporate America. Naturally, with all these achievements, our conversation with Carolyn today is going to focus on executive leadership. Carolyn, welcome to the Business 360 podcast. So, Rishabh, first, thank you for having me. Um, I, uh, I joke with you all the time, but I'm going to say it on camera. Uh, best class president one could ever have. Um, <laughs> we, we, we were all lucky to have you. Thank um, you. I thank continue to be amazed by, by, by your success. So thank you for having me today. Thank you um, so much. And for those of you that don't know what Carolyn's talking about, we did our MBA together. Yep. And so she's just talking about our time while we were in, in, in that program. The executive MBA program, the powerhouse. <laughs> powerhouse, yes. <laughs> I'm thrilled to have you on. Uh -huh. And um, you know what I want to do is for our listeners, I would love for you to describe Diversity Inc. Uh -huh. and its mission. Sure. Uh, so simply put, um, Diversity Inc. is a data consulting and strategic advisory company. Um, our mission is now and has always been in the 20 years that we have been around uh, to bring education and clarity to the business benefits of diversity. Um, so here is how it works, Rashab. Uh, we extract valuable data from the largest and most prominent companies. If you go to our website, diversityinc.com, you will see companies like AT&T, PricewaterhouseCoopers, EY, Boeing, um, Wells Fargo, um, across industries, um, whether they are focused on U.S. operations or their global entities, um, we have a trusting relationships with them where they give us confidential proprietary data. Um, executives from these companies share that data because they want to compete. The best human capital um, uh, competition in the marketplace, um, and we know that uh, the talent that is in the marketplace right now is increasingly non-male and increasingly non-white. Uh, we also publish two websites, diversityinc.com, which I just mentioned a few moments ago, and then diversityincbestpractices.com. Um, and your listeners can learn more about it, about both of those websites by just visiting diversityinc.com or clicking on my bio on LinkedIn. That's amazing. So as I mentioned in the intro, you have 17 years at Diversity Inc. Yes. and you wore many hats while you were there. Yes. You've now been the CEO for, I think, a year. Describe your journey to becoming the CEO. On May 7, 2019, right, um, at Cipriani on Wall Street, which is where we typically have our event, um, I was named CEO at the annual Diversity, Inc. Top 50 dinner. Um, it was awesome. In the room, there were 26 CEOs and other uh, senior leadership, um, members of senior leadership teams that represent 7 million U.S. employees. And you should know that um, the data that we collect and analyze is for U.S. operations only. So 950 corporate decision makers were present. Were present. Um, I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, hence the hat, I'm super proud. Um, and my own international president of the organization was there. Um, but the chapter of my life titled Leading at Diversity Inc. didn't start there, Rashab. The journey began in 2010, where uh, my now founder and chairman, Luke Visconti, um, tapped me to be his successor. And so um, this has been a very long succession plan uh, where we were very thoughtful about the areas of the business that I needed to really focus on to make sure that when he did hand me the baton, I was ready to effectively lead. Uh, I was honored and scared all at once. Um, I also didn't know if I wanted the responsibility, right? Sometimes people tell you they see greatness in you 
you don't see it and you're like, I don't know if I could do this. Um, because what he made look so easy day in and day out, I was like, can I do that? Um, so at the moment, um, I was cool on the surface, but beneath I was going absolutely insane. <laughs> and, you know, to take, to, to go on that, that point, uh, you, you said the succession plan was going on for almost 10 years and in that time period, a lot can change. Yes. So what challenges did you face while you were climbing that top seat? Um, and how did you overcome those challenges? Right. So, um, you know, I think, you know, there, nothing is a coincidence, right? And so we talked about the timeline. We talked about expectations, um, how he would support my growth, um, how he would serve as a mentor, a coach. Um, sponsorship wasn't something that we were talking about a lot then. Um, we talk about a lot about a lot now, um, but just an overall support system. Um, and so I got comfortable with the idea based on the commitment that he made and said yes. Um, and then, as we know, the best well laid plans, um, you know, they go awry. Okay, so um, in May 2014, uh, Luke had a stroke, and all while I was still learning the business. Um, this rocked my world and it changed everything, um, personally and professionally. At the time, I had a two-year-old daughter. Um, Luke and his wife, Nancy, are a set of godparents to, um, at the time, one daughter, but now I have two children. Um, and so it was hard, but if I was going to be the strong support uh, system that he and his family um, needed, that the business needed, that the space of diversity and inclusion needed, um, there was not going to be any time for crying, crying, right? The training wheels officially came off, <laughs> okay? Um, and with Luke paralyzed on his left top, his completely um, on his left side, I had to lead, learn, sell, and execute simultaneously. Um, and I got to tell you, Rashab, that in May 2014, my life changed forever.